who's the best player who's been in my chess center? Uh, I guess Nigel. We've had Nigel and Mora Diabati and Zapata and me. I'm trying to think of other GMs that have been here. I can't think of any other ones, but I'm sure there have been, or maybe they're not. I think that's the only four GMs who have been here. Stuart Rachels was here, but he's not a GM. But he's one of the top five players who's been here. No. He didn't play, he just came for to watch for a while. Mm. All right, let's analyze the games because the chat's getting, you know, sort of inane and shallow and pedantic. So first game we'll look at is Rapport Dominguez. Um, I just did a video on Rapport on Wednesday, um, I guess six days ago. It's on the Chess Club YouTube page. Um, or you could have watched it live last week, which is unlikely, but possible. Uh, okay, so we saw QGA, Queen's Gambit accepted. Um, many moves white can play here. Knight F3 is the most common. Queen A4 check is very uncommon. And that's, you know, that's just, you know, Rapport's game. He likes to play lines that aren't highly thought of and he has his own you know twist so if you play c6 and queen takes c4 that actually transposes into a queen c2 slav that's playable for both sides um knight bd7 is sort of passive so dominguez played a theoretical line that i'm not familiar with because i don't play the queen's gambit accepted with black and I've never played queen a4 check because I don't play that move. I, I play e3. Um, so I don't really know this position very well. Okay, so knight c6. Um, and he took on c4. And one of the engine lines, which is very funny to me, is bishop e6, queen a4, bishop d7, queen c4, and repeat for a draw. It's a little silly, but you know. Okay, and then Dominguez played a pawn sacrifice that I'm not familiar with, which obviously he is. Um, it seems reasonable for Black to want, you know, his bishops open and his pieces out when there's a queen on c4 and white isn't very well developed. So that seems reasonable. Knight takes is engine approved. Knight takes, pawn takes, and knight g4. So now it's like a very strange Budapest because like D takes a knight here with like the C pawn and the D pawn missing. Um, okay, so black's bishops can both get out. Black ha and white's pieces are ridiculous except for his queen. And black wants to win his pawn back. Now I'm uh, guessing this is preparation because I've never seen this position before, but that doesn't mean that it's not well known. Um, I think if Dominguez didn't know the position, he wouldn't play e5. I think he would play something more safe. Um, so he must, you know, know what he's doing. And so forth. Yes, move just move, you are really annoying. I agree. You should watch somebody else's stream or you should subscribe to my stream. Then you won't watch any ads. But I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll just ban you forever. There you go. All right. Now, now you don't have to watch the stream anymore if you don't want. You can just watch somebody else's stream. And we don't have to hear from you anymore. All right. Um, that's right. I haven't had an ad for months, says the person who's subscribing. Yeah, if you're not subscribing to the channel, you're basically just stealing this content. So if you're not going to donate or subscribe, you should probably watch somebody else's channel. Okay. Now... Uh, White played bishop f4, trying to keep his pawn. Um, White could also just play something like knight c3 and give back the pawn. But, you know, he figures I'm a pawn up, I'll stay a pawn up. Yay, Dr. Krieger 69. Hooray. Yeah. As long as everybody's banned. Yeah. 
That's right. Curious Chimpanzee is correct. Your trail gifted a sub. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lancer Ulysses subscribed. Ayo. Uh, let's see. That's right. Okay. Back to whatever it is I was doing. Uh, okay. He played C6. So this blocks this diagonal. So there's no annoying checks. And the queen can come to B6. Or it could come to A5 with check. So C6, very reasonable. Makes the king safer. Makes the queen better. And controls some key squares. 300 centages. Hooray. Should we unfollow? Sure, if you want. You can unfollow. You can do whatever you like. It's a, it's a free country. I mean, here it is. And when I say free, not really, but technically mm. remember if you don't like my stream then don't watch it if you don't like food that you eat don't eat it if you don't like the tv show you're watching change the channel if you don't like music that's on the radio first i would say what's a radio and second of all i would say change the station you're not required to watch the stream and then spend the all time complaining about it you don't have to do that you can just not watch it. Uh, LJ Ganzi, $9.99. Hooray. Yeah, Perry is pretty good. Yeah. You don't want to pay taxes? Don't pay taxes. Easy. Man, I mean, I, you asked such an easy question. <sighs> Delicious. Okay, so E3 makes sense. Get the bishop out, castle, etc. G5. Now, if you showed me this position and said Dominguez was playing rapport, who has what color, I would be guessing wrong. Because this is a rapport kind of move. And white is, you know, pretty solid and up a pawn. So I would have said that rapport was, was black. But yeah, the engine says this move's good. It says good, good. All right, so he has to retreat. And he plays queen a5 check. He could also play h5 and h4. Maybe h5 is what rapport would play. But the engine likes queen a5 check more. You can't play queen c3, which stops the check and defends the pawn, because bishop b4 would win your queen. So queen c3 is bad. So he played knight to d2. Uh, I think the engine prefers knight c3. In fact, to be perfectly honest, I... I don't understand why you would go here instead of here. I don't know what he, why, what his reasoning was. Um, I guess in like seven or eight moves, he could play knight here and knight here. But if he goes here, he can only go here, which is where this knight can go. So he might have thought this was more flexible. All right. Bishop e6, always retreat. And he long castle. And again... This seems more like Rapport's playing black than white. Because, you know, white black's playing sort of fast and loose. On the other hand, this queen has moved several times. And white hasn't castled yet. And black's pieces are pretty good. And he can win his pawn back at his leisure. Also at his leisure. Now, in this position, the engine suggests a move that I wouldn't consider which is to long castle, because, I mean, this pawn's not defended. Um, but he, he did long castle, so these guys are good. Yeah, and the, the engine's not a fan of queen takes a2 because of bishop c4. All right. Um, and once again, uh, uh, Dominguez played a reasonable move. The engine likes h5, but he played bishop b4. Developing his last minor piece. A3. Now white has the two bishops. Bishop B3 is okay. Probably better again as H5. But this move's all right. That way he ruins... He wants to ruin the pawn structure after queen C3. Now trying to learn texted me um, during the game before I had seen anything. 
And he was surprised that Rapport didn't play queen f5, which would force a draw. That's not surprising at all. Um, he has white. He's up a pawn. He has the two bishops. Now, what trying to learn doesn't understand, and what none of you will ever understand, and I say it every stream, but you guys don't understand it. You, you forget everything I say right when I say it. Um, you guys, what you do is you look at their ratings and then you decide who's playing for the win. That's how you play your own chess games. And good players don't do that. Good players look at the position and they make the best move. Doesn't matter if he's playing Magnus, he's playing me, or God forbid he's playing you, he plays the best move. If queen c3 was losing, he would play queen f5 check. If he thinks after queen c3 he's equal or better, he's playing queen c3. He doesn't care who his opponent is. That's, you don't play chess like that. If you want to play good chess, you play good chess. You don't look at your opponent's rating and go, oh, that's how I play chess. That's just what you guys do. Because that's why you're not good. Is you don't care what the best move is. You care what your opponent's rating is. R ridiculous. So in any game that's being played in this tournament irrespective of who's playing whom, the player with white is playing for an advantage and wants to win, unless it's Wesley So, because he literally doesn't care. Wesley So would give you guys a 10-move draw, except for one thing. Okay, so if he thought he was better after queen c3, and he is, then he's not going to repeat. Also, always repeat. But this is repeating too much, because then the game's going to end. Man Moth 1990 subscribed 40 months. Three, yeah. Okay. It's important to agree to a draw when you're winning so your rating goes up. Or wait a minute. No, it's the opposite. Right. And even when I say, see, this is why I stopped teaching. I would say things like, don't give your queen away for free, and I would get pushback. Now, something like that, I normally didn't get pushback, not normally, but if I said things that they didn't know, they would be like, hmm, yeah, he's probably wrong. If you want lessons, then and you're not going to listen to the teacher, don't get lessons. Which is, instead of them quitting, I just don't give them lessons anymore. So when I give you these bits of wisdom, if somehow you could follow them, which you can't, but if you could, you would be better at chess. One of my best students ever in a short period of time was an 1800 player, and he was mildly autistic, although he had a PhD in math, and, and he was an adult, and he did exactly what I told him. So if I told him something, that's what he did. He didn't know that he could not do that. So I'm like, never resign, never offer a draw, and he's like, okay. So he never resigned, never offered a draw, because I told him not to. And if I said, like, always play this and never play that, he'd be like, okay, then he would do that. Because, you know, that's, he, he listened. And he, gained, he was 1,800 for about 12 years, and he was 2,000 in two months getting lessons from me. Because, you know. And when he was, like, 2,000... Hanging up on my mom, man, harsh. When he was, like, 2,005, he played in the expert section of the, of the King's Island Open... He was the lowest rated player and he tied for first and won like 800 and he kept the, the, the price check on his table. He didn't want to cash it because then it wouldn't be on his table to remind him that, you know, he got first. When I came over for a lesson once, I said, are you not putting that in the bank because you want to look at it? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. Queens are overrated. Yeah. Ben doesn't mean to insult, he's just joking. No, I, I mean to insult. Yeah, you're all bad and you should feel bad. Yeah. I've never had a student other than him that listened to me. Ever. Not, none of them. Like, out of 100, 200, 300 students, none of them would follow what I said. They would do something, and I said, why'd you do that? I told you not to. And they would be like, well, you know, it was raining, and, you know, my arm hurts. And I had my toe amputated, and I, I just watched Mad Men Marathon, so I did the opposite of what you said. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. Yeah, Grandmaster Gus never listening. Terrible. Didn't Puzzled Pawn listen? No. He did not. 
<laughs> and then some. Yeah. Puzzle Pawn in a slow game had like queen and five versus rook and four. So he's like plus eight. And he gave up his queen for the rook on purpose for the winning king and pawn ending, which was drawn. And I, I mean, if you knew how many times I said, don't do stuff like that. And he, he said, I thought I was winning. And I'm like, that's not how you play chess. You don't intentionally lose material. That's, I don't know. It doesn't matter whatever I tell anybody, they don't listen. They don't care what I say. They don't understand what I say. And I just, they just want lessons so they can tell their friends they get lessons from somebody. You know, that's, that's why most people want lessons. Like the parents want lessons for their kids so they can tell the other parents, my kid gets coached from this GM. Yeah. And then the kids just play Minecraft the whole lesson and never listen to the teacher. And parents are drunk and stoned somewhere. They don't care. Yay, I'm on chess TV. Now all the drunken stone people are watching me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hooray. It's funny because it's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pushback means they don't want to listen. Yeah, that's what it means. They don't have their own mind. If they had their own mind, then things would be different. Okay. So rapport, now rapport, if he was my student, you could see how he was listening to me. Always repeat. See? Then he played queen c3 because never ought, never take a draw. Okay? So white's pawn structure is shallow and pedantic, but he has an extra pawn. He has two bishops. If he loses his extra pawn, he still has the pawn majority on the king's side. And it's hard to make a passed pawn here, even though these pawns are split. It actually makes it harder to make a passed pawn. Okay, so white's slightly better. Check. King e2 is actually the only move, because if you go here or here, the rook comes in with devastating effect. All right. Now he wants to take this in case of, you know, some move attacking the knight. And so far... The players have played very well. I would guess 98, 99 if we did a report. And if we did a report, probably White played close to 100 because his name is Report. Yeah. Mm, Minecraft chess. Uh, let's see. Hey, I'm not drunk. Incorrect. For once, I'm not stoned. I don't believe that. Uh, rapport would listen. Chess Dojo Live is reigning with a party of 42. Thanks, Chess Dojo Live. That's correct, Nick. That is absolutely correct. You've never been more correct. I would give you a sub if you weren't already a sub. Nick32681, he just said it like it is. The students and the parents of the students don't want people to get better or to listen to you. They want you to tell them they're good. Yo, you did great. That's all they care about. That's America. Yeah. When the student doesn't want to get better, they just want to get praise, then, you know. The, the parents' job, they don't know what their job is because they're stupid. Parents' job, all parents are stupid, by the way, all of them. No exception. The parent's job is to tell their kid they're great and say you can do whatever you want and you're improving. And even though we don't really love you, we love you. I don't know if they should say that we don't really love you part, but, you know. Okay. And, and instead, the parents just act nuts. So the parent's supposed to tell the kid they're the greatest at everything and then try not to, you know, smirk or roll their eyes. And, and then the... The coach's job is to tell the kid how to play better. Like you did this, that was wrong, do this, that's better. And then the kid goes to the next game and plays better. But that's, that, that's not what anybody wants. The parents want you to tell them, your kid's a genius, you're the greatest parent ever. Then they just keep paying for lessons. They don't care if their kid gets better. It's not just in chess, as Nick points out, that's in everything. Yeah, and the parents always act crazy. 
Now, I've had a couple of non-crazy parents because the exception proves the rule. One of them was Matt Larson. His parents were not crazy. <laughs> they said, here's money, teach our son. Next month, here's more money, teach our son. Here's money, teach our son. That's it. And then I told the son, rawr, and he said, okay. And he went from 1150 to 2400, and he's an IM. And now he's getting a PhD in math at Stanford. And that's because his parents said, you know, good, do that. And then his coaches said, do this. And then that's what happened. And he was very interested in what he was interested in, which was math and chess. Yeah, I don't hate his parents. Yeah. It's very, I've never said that. I don't hate somebody's parents. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, back to whatever it is I was doing. Basically, everybody's terrible. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I tell the parents to go away. If they're telling their kid you should do this and that, I'm like, go away. Go, go get some, go to Starbucks. Do what you're good at. And they're like, I am good at going to Starbucks. They agree that they are good at that. So. <clears throat> uh, I can't make anybody a master because nobody listens to me. But Julia Shetty was good too. Nicest parents ever. Great Indian food. He went from like 1,200 to 2,530. And then the last game we played, he beat me. <laughs> and it's funny. He said, the reason I beat you is because of what you taught me. So he wants to watch Michigan play either football or basketball. I forgot because he went to Michigan and he had the white pieces. So I offered him a draw like I move nine and he declined and he beat me. He said, yeah, because you were my coach. I, I wasn't then, but I was before. You told me never to take a draw. Otherwise, I would have accepted and watched the Michigan game because he wanted to watch the Michigan game. But he's not allowed to accept a draw. He remembered that, so he beat me instead. Hoisted by my own petard. Okay. Now, in this position, um, Report played the second best move. That looks very reasonable. The best move is E4. That would be very hard for me to play. Then, then rook a5, and these pawns are both attacked. So, like, this is the engine line. The king obviously can't go to d3. This is still equal, though. So, I don't, yeah, this isn't really better than h4. h4 makes more sense. You're trying to activate the rook and, you know, take this and so forth. Okay, moving on up. Okay, now in this position, it's funny. Black has a way that draws immediately. He has a way where he's worse, and otherwise he has to resign. So one move draws, one move he's worse, and then otherwise the game's over. And Dominguez found the precise sequence of moves so that he would, he would be better. I mean, so that he would draw the game, I mean. Maybe he was better. Yeah. Okay, and the precise sequence is 95 check takes. Now if rook takes, you're down a piece. So always play bishop f1. And now, after bishop d4, you must play rook check here, and then check. This is all forced. The king can't take because you lose f2. Check. And everything's a draw now because you're winning this. That's opposite color bishops. Yeah, and this is just a dead draw. The engine slightly prefers black, although I'm not sure why. But it's just a dead draw. They had to find a repetition, draw by reputation, and they found one. Yay. Okay, and draw. So, uh, very well played game. Um, and, you know, I think Rapport was better, and then Dominguez just played really accurately and held the game. I would guess they both played at least 98. So let's have a look because we got to kill time somehow. Don't forget, everybody's terrible. Not a chest, just as a person. <laughs> 